at the Taos Gorge in New Mexico. And, oh, just waking up with some yoga practice. Feels so good. So I'm gonna lead you through a couple exercises. It's good to get your feet about hip width distance apart. And starting out the day with a straight spine. So let's really engage the quads and tuck the pelvis a little bit forward and under. Bring the belly in, lift the chest up. You can allow the arms to open, palms forward. Shoulders can come up, back and down, and then feel as if there's a string pulling the top of your head up to the sky. And here, just take a few slow, deep breaths. Just checking in with your body this morning. Bring your awareness briefly from your feet up through the legs, through the torso, checking out the arms, to the neck, to the head, and just kind of seeing if there's any places of tension or tightness or areas that are, are wanting some extra attention this morning. And then inhaling the arms out to either side, bringing them together. I like to interlace the thumbs and really reach the fingers up to the sky. And then inhaling, engaging the belly, button back toward the spine and beginning to hinge the hips to come forward. But first you're really reaching ahead of you before you're going down. And because you're sucking that belly in, you're starting to feel the lumbar region and your lower back open up. And then as you begin to exhale, you can lower down a little more and even allowing a slight bend in the knees here. And you can bend one knee very slightly in the other and just allow each arm to reach a little bit down toward the ground. And you can drop the head down and shake it out. And then inhaling, bringing the hands onto the knees and extending that back out flat, forehead reaching forward, and then inhaling to come back up to standing and inhaling the arms up and exhaling the arms down into prayer pose in the center. And you can do that a few more times. I'm gonna go on here to the warrior sequence. So bringing the left foot forward, stepping the right foot back is a little bit at an angle, bringing a bend to the left knee directly above the ankle, inhaling both arms up and here we're going to scoot the left hip back and the right hip forward a little bit. So you start to feel a stretch in that hip flexor. I'm breathing. And then as you're ready, opening that right hand back and switching the right foot to be uh, perpendicular. Keeping that bend in the left knee and reaching the left hand forward. I'm breathing. And then as you're ready, Flipping the left palm up, scooping it down a little bit, and then bringing it back behind you, resting the right hand above or below the right knee, keeping that bend in the left knee, and stretching back, peaceful warrior. And then bringing the left elbow down to the left knee and reaching the right hand up to the sky, side angle. You can also bring that right hand above it, like in front of the head, reaching out in front of you. So you have one long diagonal line from the right fingertips down to the right ankle. From here, bringing that right hand down to the ground, option to drop the right knee to the floor here too, and stretching the left hand up to the sky. And bringing that left hand to the ground and reaching the right hand up for extended side angle. And breathing. Following that right hand to come back up, bringing the two feet together. Inhaling the arms up again. And exhaling, palms to center. And on the other side, left foot steps back. Right foot comes forward, bending the knee. Inhaling the two arms up for warrior one. Right hip scooches back, left hip scooches forward. Inhaling and on the exhale opening, left arm out back, left foot becomes perpendicular and stretching opposite hands in opposite directions. Dipping the right hand up and bringing it back behind you. Exhaling the right elbow to the right knee, left arm goes up. Allowing that left hand to reach forward above the head. 
bringing that left hand down to the ground and the right hand goes up toward the sky. Bring that right hand down to the ground, left arm goes up, send it side angle. And coming back to center. From here, if you want, you can do a little vinyasa as well. Reach the arms up. Coming down, reaching forward, hinging at the hips. Two hands to the ground, stepping the feet back, bringing the shoulders above the wrist, lowering down halfway, lifting up into upward facing dog, and then tucking the toes under, lifting the hips up and back for downward dog, pedaling out those legs here. And then stepping the right foot between the hands, followed by the left foot. Inhaling to come up halfway and then reaching up to the sky. And you can continue doing that as many times as you like. Have a great day.